if there's one thing I've learned in my life, it is that every wrestling promoter on earth is an egomaniac, every last one of them. And Herb Simmons is no different. You know, wrestling promoters, they, they think they want to be in the center of all the attention. They want everybody to focus on them and not the wrestlers, not the talent, nothing like that. They don't want that at all. Herb Simmons is just like that. Because he's got a heavyweight champion in Iron Man Ken Casa and his manager Travis Cook, the greatest manager of professional wrestling today. And all we've ever done is held his title for about a year. And we've sold out his building over in East Carnival every single month for over a year. But no, he doesn't want to give us the credit for it, doesn't want to give us the, the press for it, the attention for it that we deserve. So he has this big show coming up on May the 17th, the 55th anniversary of Wrestling at the Chase. And instead of using this occasion to praise us and as a showcase for us, oh no, he wants to take the attention away from us. He wants people to forget about us. He, he brings in Big Daddy, some manager from the 90s that somebody remembers, I'm sure. He thinks that's going to take attention away from us. Then he starts dropping the name Bobby Heenan, Bobby the Brain Heenan around. Like that's going to take attention away from us. But then he crossed the line. Because I found out May the 17th, Herb Simmons has just signed Jim Cornette to come into East Carondelet, Illinois. And I know why you did it. Because you know, and I know, and everybody knows about Jim Cornette's infamous temper. And you're just hoping that Jim Cornette comes in there and something sets him off, the wind blows the wrong way, something, and he comes after me with that tennis racket. You see, Jim Cornette is the most unstable person in professional wrestling. His history shows it. I mean, time and again, he comes into a promotion. He's been hired and fired by every wrestling office in America. Time and again, he comes into a wrestling promotion, and everybody says, oh, it's so great. Jim Cornette has this great mind. It's going to turn everything around. And then two weeks later, Either he, either he, you know, slaps somebody, go, attacks someone at a drive through window of a Dairy Queen, intimidates Vince Russo, I don't know, but he always ends up getting canned. Well, that's what Herb Simmons wants. Herb Simmons wants him to come in here, have his temper blown, and go after me with a tennis racket or whatever else, because all those backwoods hicks from Kentucky can't fight unless they got something in their hand. Well, Jim Cornette, I want you to know this. If you dare intervene in my business May the 17th, your tennis racket is no match for my kung fu and for my mind.